What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you to all you lovely subscribers out there. We just passed 1800 subscribers. That is huge. It means that there are so many people out there who care about their mental health. I also wanna thank you for sharing these videos to try to help more and more people. I, I'm thinking about calling you all the rewired soldiers. What do you think about that? Yeah, because I think maybe I'll make some like shirts and do some giveaways and things like that. So, but that'll be at a later date. But anyways, thank you so much for subscribing, staying with me, improving your mental health. I love it, I love it, I love it. But anyways, um, yeah, we're doing a mental health book review today, and today I'm going to be talking about 12 Rules for Life by Jordan B. Peterson. So the way I was introduced to this book is, um, I'm a big fan of Sam Harris. He's kind of like a modern day philosopher. He's really into meditation and things like that. Um, I did another video uh, about his book called Waking Up, and it's about spirituality without religion, which I'm down with, so I, I dig that stuff. But anyways, when uh, watching videos about Sam Harris, like the name Jordan Peterson kept popping up. I keep hearing people talking about him. So Jordan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, he is a college professor, he is a, a psychologist, and he's also somewhat of a, of a scientist, as well as kind of like a modern day philosopher. And I've heard, you know, some rumblings of some uh, <laughs> some kind of uh, drama that he's been in for, you know, his free speech and things like that. And that's not really what this video is about. I will touch on it a little bit as I talk about this book. Anyways, I decided I wanted to pick up his book. I've heard people talk about it. I'm like, you know what? I gotta I gotta check this thing out and see what it's about. So um, I, I was interested because I, I think philosophy and, you know, the fact that he's a psychologist, these are things that I could use to help people. So. Pretty much, and I'll, I'll let you know like how my, what, what makes me pick a book. I pick a book for two reasons, one of two reasons, okay? The first reason is that I believe it will help me, okay? I read a book that I think will help me out, help me out with my mental health or just other things I'm doing in life. So I'm not, I'm not really into fiction. I, I like fiction, but my reading time is limited. So I look for videos about mental health and just to educate myself and things like that, which goes into number two. The second reason I read books is to help each and every one of you. So I'll pick up books that I think will help me make better content, more content. And then I guess there's reason number three is that the book is gonna help me and then it will help you too, right? So we're all getting help. So that's kind of why I pick the books that I read. So. I picked up Jordan Peterson's book and that, like, I'll, I'll tell you this, like, I wasn't a huge fan of the book. Um, I think it's a great book. I think it's a great book and I think a lot of people will get a lot out of it. Like, Jordan Peterson has, you know, gained a massive following in recent months or in the last year or two because of what he's doing. I'm actually thinking about doing another video um, comparing him to Gary Vaynerchuk, which for any of you who know who Gary Vaynerchuk is and who Jordan Peterson is, you might be like, uh, what? But I don't know, it's interesting to me just as somebody who looks at, you know, mental health and human behavior and things like that, the guys like this are stepping into this role of almost like a father figure, and that's how they're gaining such a following, and it, it seems like that's what people need. And like, I can understand why people are following their work. So anyways, The 12 Rules for Life, it was written by Jordan, Jordan Peterson. He was, uh, he was somebody who liked to go on Quora. I don't know if you know about that website. I used to go on there. Um, but anyways, it's a place where people post questions and then you answer questions. And Jordan would go on there, you know, just when he got bored and he would answer questions. And somebody said like, what are the rules of life that you think everybody should follow? He made a list, it got like a massive amount of upvotes, which is hard to do on that site. And eventually, you know, he started, uh, he started writing this book. He also has a YouTube channel. He started recording his um, lectures at uh, the college he works at up in Canada. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how he started gaining his following. But then he started getting interviewed and he had some, uh, some things happen and uh, discussions about um, language when it comes to you know trans people and things like that, and that's a whole nother story. Um, but anyways, I will be honest, like a lot of his following is young men, and I, I've seen, and you might have heard about some of the viral videos, like he had an interview with, um, I believe it was Channel 4 in the United Kingdom, and you know, it, it, was, it was an interesting interview, I just recently watched it, but some of them, make him seem like he's a misogynist. And I I personally, I don't think so, like reading what, what he's all about. Um, I think, 
you know, and I, I really wanted to, wanted to stay away from making this video political, but whatever. Um, I think that there are people who are extreme to the social justice side who take what he says out of context, but when you listen to what he's saying, like he's not a misogynist in any way, he's about equality and things like that. Um, I think he comes off as one because he helps a lot of young men, all right? But anyways, this book, he, I think it's good. I was expecting a lot more science, a lot more psychology out of it. And in the first couple chapters, which are broken down into the rules, right? He did a good job of it. Like, and and like, I was like, okay, cool. So I kept, I kept going, right? Um, one thing is, uh, I first, not, not the first time I heard about this book, but I heard about this book when PewDiePie recently did one of his book reviews and he said there was a lot of religion in it. And I'm like, eh, yeah, I don't know about that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, this guy doesn't seem like the religious type to me. So when I started reading the book, um, his first book was heavily based around religion but to me and i haven't read his other book yet um but it seemed to me almost like another book i read called religion for atheists which i'm going to talk about in a second so i started getting into the book and like yeah man um i don't know even though jordan peterson doesn't really like say he's religious or anything like that like this book had way too much religion for my blood and it's nothing against religion it's just like for me, it was just way too much. It was way, way, way too much. But I find it interesting too. So Jordan Peterson, I was watching an interview he did with uh, I think Joe Rogan, and he's, he was saying how some of his followers are referring to themselves as Christian atheists. And like, I can get on board with that. Like I get it, I get what these people are saying. And like, one thing that I will give credit to with Jordan Peterson is that he's getting through to people by using religion to teach life lessons um, rather than trying to convert people to a religion. I hope that makes sense. Um, coming from a 12 step background, that's what I feel 12 step programs are doing. Like there's a lot of misconceptions that 12 step programs are religions. And it's like, no, like they're using these things to kind of teach you how to be a better person. And that's what Jordan Peterson does. It's just, for me personally, I think a lot of people will enjoy this book. Like, heck, it was like a New York Times bestseller. For me personally, it was just way too much. <laughs> it was way too much. So if you can get through it and stuff like that, like, go for it. Because he does a great job, especially um, being philosophical and pulling from these different stories from like Genesis and like Adam and Eve and all these other things and like talking about how humans are just, you know, flawed and you know, things like that. Like he does a good job, but sometimes it's just way too much for my liking, all right? But there are other things where he does a great job like that I really did like, like I think it was like the first chapter where he talks about um, biofeedback and I'm gonna do a separate video on this about gaining more confidence by standing up straight with your shoulders back and there's a, a lot of science behind it and he uses this lobster reference that a lot of people don't get but he explains it very well in this book. Like if, if more of the book was about, you know, um, psychology and biofeedback and neuroscience, I feel like I would have liked it a lot more but there was a lot there was a lot of religion in it and anyways there's another book i read i haven't done any videos on it but there's a book called religion for atheists okay and it's written by a man by the name of alan de baton so you might have heard of the youtube channel called the school of life if you haven't please go check it out it is a great 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 channel it is an amazing channel um alan de baton started the school of life and he's an atheist and he's a philosopher okay and he wrote a book called religion for atheists and i'm extremely spiritual and i'm always trying to find different books that can explain these things better than I can so I can help teach my clients while I'm trying to get them into 12-step programs, which I also need to make more videos on um, about how there's a difference between religious and spirituality. But to have an author like Alan de Baton talk about all of the valuable things you can pull from religion without being religious, like I thought that was a big deal. So when I look at what Jordan Peterson's doing, like I don't think Jordan Peterson is stealing anything from Alan de Baton, but I, I do think that if you're a fan of Jordan Peterson, you definitely need to check out some of Alan de Baton's work. Um, if you would like like 
when you check in down in the description, I have my whole entire book list. You will see that book listed. Excellent book, excellent, excellent, excellent book. But anyways, I'm gonna be honest with you. I wanted to wait until the end of the video to share this. I actually stopped reading this book. Like, like I said, you know my gripe with it, just way too much religion for me. I stopped reading it, but I think it's a good book. I think a lot of people can get something out of it. If you are Christian, if you are religious, you'll like this, you'll like this book a whole lot more than I did. Um, and like, I think even other people, you know, who aren't religious, like, will get a lot out of this book. It, it's great, but like I was saying, one of the reasons I read books is to help me, help me improve as a person and with my mental health, and all of the rules that he was going through, like, they were things that I've already worked on in my development. Like, if I would have found this book when I first got sober, I definitely would have finished it. So like, I don't want you to think this is a bad review of the book. It was just me personally, it didn't work out for me. So I hope I, I explained this book fairly well um, because I do think a lot of people should check it out. Like if you come to my channel and are looking for stuff to read to improve your mental health, like I think um, this book will help you out. And a lot of it, like he covers a, a wide range of topics, like just like parenting, you know what I mean? How to be a better person in the community, um, how to take responsibility for your actions. Like there's so many different things that people need to start doing to improve their life and improve this world. So I definitely rec recommend this book if you think any of the things I touch touched on might help you, okay? But <clears throat> anyways, anyways, um, I would love to know your thoughts. Um, what do you think about Jordan Peterson? Have you read this book? Leave them down in the in the comments down below. But also, like I mentioned, if you check the description, um, there will be a link to this book if you wanna check it out, as well as on my website, therewiredsoul.com, where I have my entire reading list if you wanna start checking them out. So once I stopped this book, I decided to go to a book that has been on my list. It is called um, I Hate You, Don't Leave Me. It was written in 2012, and it's all about borderline personality disorders, and it has like all of the latest research, and I know it's six years old, but it has the latest research in it so that's the book i'm reading right now so if you want to read this book with me um i'll put a link to that down below too i'm loving it so far loving 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 it because i really want to make more videos about borderline personality disorder so if you'd like to check that out it'll be down in the description too all right but anyways again thank you so much for watching if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button join us be one of the rewired soldiers okay and if you would like to check out some other videos on this channel click or tap right there on one of those thumbnails but again Thank you for watching. Keep sharing my videos. Let's spread the word about mental health, okay? And I'll see you next time.